Okay, so you can see here that I've uh, made it um, a lot more responsive, and then I added more values, and so it basically red, green, blue, and uh, I'll show you how I did that in Controller Mate. Um, at first off, as you can see, I have a lot more ranges built in, and then um, this is what uh, allows it to be more responsive. Is I don't want it, I don't want to pass the, this value to these while I'm moving it. That's what was going wrong before, and so after I get done moving it, um, point one second after I get done moving it, it passes that value in. So I'm moving, moving, moving. Uh, the slider. When I stop changing, when I stop uh, sliding, it passes passes the value in. And uh, the way, so the way I did that that was, uh, I have the slider up here, and uh, so delta strobe. This uh, turns on when you're sliding it down. This turns on when you're sliding it up. So either when I'm sliding it up or down it turns on this dwell and um, so dwell keeps it on for uh, 0.1 second so as I slide it um, this is off but when I stop sliding it or as I slide it it turns on when I stop sliding it it turns off so um, this just reverses it so if you look here as I slide it, it's off, and then when I uh, stop sliding it, it turns on. And so when this turns on, it's the same value, and so it just passes passes that into the range. And then um, you can see that uh, I set it up on smaller increments now, and um, I renamed these. So. Uh, the script title change red zero so set change value to zero and then I use change val um, in here at the red so set foreground color to red keep the green keep the blue um, so you can see that it's uh, running off of um, much smaller increments now From zero to sixteen to thirty six to forty eight to 64, to 80, so in um, about 16, 16 positions, and uh, so it works out uh, really nice. So I can, you know, I can change the colors quickly. I'm just sliding, sliding the knobs all around, and. Uh, so, so yeah, there, there it is.